Guys, it's your boy Dom and welcome back to the channel, man. Today I'm going to be talking about how I got lost in the airport and how I accidentally went into the women's bathroom at such airport. So this happened about four to four, about four years ago. I was just coming back from the Philippines and I was doing a layover in Detroit for about four to five hours. Now, anyone who has ever been to Detroit's airport, especially and know their TSA, boy oh boy, they are menaces. I mean, Detroit itself is Black Air Force energy, but TSA, their workers are Black Air Forces. They talk to little kids like they are grown adults. And I swear, I swear, I seen one TSA worker yell at a toddler. I, I swear to you, for something I don't even know, but he yelled at the toddler. We're not here to talk about that. So, my friend and I, so I'm with my friend, his mom, and my mom. We are come both all coming from the Philippines and everything like that. Once we land, we get through the Black Air Force people and we go to our gate. So my friend and I are just sitting there at our gate like, bro, this is so boring. Why are we gonna sit here for four to five hours? You know what I'm saying? We're not old people, we not like that. We wanna do stuff. So we go ask our parents, hey, can we go ahead and explore the airport? They said we can. That's the worst idea you ever had in your entire life. My friend and I, we go explore the airport. We ride the indoor train, bullet train that they have in there. We go from one side of the airport to one side. We go to this one, this one, and we look at which flights are taking off from Detroit. You know, we see some going to Texas. We some see some going to Florida. We see some going to Virginia. I don't know. And I'm like, bro, why can't we just go to Virginia? You know what I'm saying? And so we're doing this for about maybe one to two hours, you know, and I, once we feel like we've gone through the entire airport, we're like, yo, Let's go get us something to eat. So we go get some Popeyes, man. That's the one good thing about Detroit's airport is that they have some killer Popeyes. And I tell you, their Popeyes is good. Like, it's it hit. While we're eating our Popeyes, we're trying to figure out where did we come from, right? Like, not like where did we come from, like birth and all that, but where did we like go to get to this spot? We can't remember. We really cannot remember. So I go ask my friend, do you have your phone? to like, let's call our parents to see what gate we are supposed to be in, what terminal we're supposed to be in. My friend said he left his phone with his mom. And so I go to check my phone, my phone's dead. <laughs> so really that was like, we're in a pickle here, you know what I'm saying? We in a pickle right now. So we panicking, man. We trying to figure out what to do and everything. We going from one end to the airport to one end of the airport, terminal to terminal, gate to gate. You know what I'm saying? We going to, from Starbucks to going to Starbucks and everything. Like we cannot find where we're supposed to go. We cannot find where we're supposed to go. While we're trying to do this, right? We go like, we go sit down. We go sit down, we try to figure it out. We sit there for maybe about a few minutes, about. 15 minutes and in this 15 minutes we just sitting there thinking bro what in the world are we gonna do to even like like what what if like we thinking of all these different possibilities like what if they leave us what if what if they they forget about us and leave us to go to the, the next destination and stuff like that and i'm like what am i what are we gonna do and we don't want to talk to nobody because we know detroit kind of weird when you try to talk to somebody they get offended don't know why you know, just Detroit itself is Black Air Force energy. So, I go to the bathroom, right? And I'm not mentally stable at all, right? I'm, I'm not mentally there, you know, I'm panicking on the inside, trying to figure out where in the world am I supposed to go? So, these bathrooms in Detroit are so weird. Like, like this is the women's bathroom. It's like a U-shape, but then there's no div division between the men's bathroom at all. So there's like a big, like, it's like a me it's like a w almost that it makes and i'm like bro what in the world so i go there and i go inside now when i go inside i see a lot of women coming out of this entrance and i'm like maybe and i'm uh, i'm a little suspicious right now they not giving me no weird looks at all so i'm like okay maybe this is just like the most traveled through area and I also made a justification in my head, like, okay, it's kind of connected to the men's bathroom over here too, since there's no division. So maybe this is more a popular to exit for this for this for these bathrooms. But 
Oh, man, man, oh man. But as I keep going through, I see more and more women. And I'm like, and I made the self-realization. I'm like, oh, shoot. This is the women's bathroom. Now, I'm already neck deep. You know what I'm saying? I'm like in it. Like there's at least 20 women around me. They don't, I have my hood up. So they don't know if I'm a man or not. I'm like, there's nothing else I can do. The only thing I can do is just get out of here, right? Without making myself seem like a dude. So I turn right around, right? I start walking slowly back. Now these two girls, bruh, these two girls say, hey, I'm like, and my eyes widen. I'm looking, I'm like, my face is turning red. I'm white, my eyes white. And I'm like, oh shoot, this is it. And I turn around. Oh my gosh, they were laughing at me, bro. They were laughing at me. Just because I went into this bathroom, they were laughing at me. It made me, it made me, that hurt me on the inside, man. That really hurt me on the inside. I've never been laughed at like that before in my life. Never. And as a 11, 12 year old kid, nobody wants to be laughed at like that. I was being laughed at at least by like five women. Five to seven women were laughing at me. And I told you this was Detroit. De no matter if you're from Detroit or not, you're going to catch on to that black old force energy if you're there long enough. And they were just laughing at me. They weren't even trying to help me. They were just laughing at me. So I do turn, turn back around. I put my head down because I'm just disappointed in myself at this point. I'm like, bro, there's no way that just happened to me. So I walk out. I find the men's bathroom. Now, I will never get over why there's no median or anything right distinguishing whether that's the men or women's bathroom. And I think there was a sign, but it was like so deep into the entrance that once you were in there, you would never know until somebody tells you. So I do go into the men's bathroom and I do go out and I go back to where my friend was. My friend and I are still trying to figure out where in the world our gate was, right? And this was about maybe two and a half hours, maybe about three and a half hours into our little escapade. And we knew we only had about an hour to get back to our term, our, our gate. So we're, we're thinking, we're thinking. And then we remember there are two terminals here, like two main terminals. We're in this terminal, right? The north terminal. We need to go to the other terminal because those are the only these are the only two main terminals. So we got to run. We we basically took like a little bullet train back to that side. And we eventually do find where we're supposed to be at and everything like that. So once we do, we find the term. We remember the terminal number with the terminal was like G something. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was G something. We finally get back on that terminal. We find our parents. We don't tell them anything that happened. We don't. We don't tell them anything that happened. And boy, boy, oh boy, that that was that was that was a scary situation to be honest. That was scary, you know. Yeah, we got to the terminal we were supposed to be at, and we meet our parents, and we all lived happily ever after. Or did we? <laughs> like for part two. So I hope y'all enjoyed that video, man. If you want to go ahead, I mean, like the video, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Uh, share it with some friends and stuff like that. And stay tuned for part two. God bless. Peace out. 100. Ha ha. Yes, sir.